tracking your progress versus comparing to your final goal. Okay, here's a big one, all right? Sometimes students feel like they're not at their goal yet and they feel then you feel down okay i have this too i have this same experience i feel like i can't do this yet i can't do this like brian mcknight yet i can't do this like one name rs yet i can't do this like craig david yet i can't do this like tank yet and then i'll feel like i'm worthless as a singer i'm not good enough maybe i'm not supposed to be a singer maybe i'm not cut out to be a singer maybe i'm not supposed to be that good of a singer Maybe this is my level and this is where I should stay. Oh, all this emotional doubt, all this emotional stuff happens. And here's why. I'm going to give you a strategy that helps me deal with this because this happens to everyone. Everyone experiences this. Uh, because everyone is always, everyone, especially everyone who has high goals, who, who is really motivated by great people that achieve great things and feels like, oh, I want to achieve great things in my life too. You might feel this way. Here's the strategy. You have to learn to track your progress. Not only track, not only compare yourself to the final goal. Now you should compare yourself to the final goal because it does matter. It does matter. Are you objectively as good as the artist that you're trying to copy? If you want, you should put that on your goal. That's your goal. I want to get as good as whoever the artist is. Ariana Grande, Mariah Carey, um, whoever it might be. If you're not that good, you should make a list of why aren't you that good? What is what is the skills you don't know yet? But don't get caught up on only comparing yourself to the um to the artist. You need to track yourself, your own progress, which means comparing yourself to yourself. Because you have to look at where did you start? And how are you progressing? Are you actually getting better in some way, gradually? Because that's what getting to your goal looks like. It doesn't look like, here's me now. Here's what I want to be. I've been doing lessons for two months, or I've done one lesson, or I've done no lessons, but I've watched dozens of YouTube videos or hundreds of YouTube videos, or whatever it might be, or I've bought five courses, and I'm not like my favorite artist yet. So that means I suck. Oh, I'm bad. Oh, my practice isn't working. Instead of falling into that trap, I want you to make objective goals to be like, here's this vibrato that I want to learn to do. Oh, that vibrato happens in this song and it's this fast. So you could even maybe measure the tempo of the song. The song could be like, whatever it could be you could be like that vibrato you can make a little mp3 of that vibrato or mark it out in amazing slow down and be like that vibrato is this fast when i started learning vibrato actually i didn't even know it i started learning it so that's my first step you gotta you gotta celebrate that congratulate yourself that you've done that and the next step you might spend many months getting your vibrato getting to go faster but now you're only half that speed so you try to go oh wait let's use it let's use a song example um i heard that heard it's quite fast right so let's say you can only go i heard you can only do it slowly so instead of beating yourself up that you can only do it half the speed i want you to think about well, what could you do when you first started? How many steps has it taken for you to get to this half speed that you're at? Fantastic. Well done. That's your progress. That's what you've done. Now, keep thinking, what's your next steps? You're at 50% of the speed. You're going to gradually work up to get to that 100. All right? It doesn't matter if it takes a year, if it takes three weeks, if it takes seven months. It's not important. What's important is that you have a plan. You have a method that you're doing. You have a teacher that can give you feedback, that can give you, that can put you through the exercises. My classes are like a personal training. I put people through the exercises. So even if they don't practice ever at home, every time they come to the class, they're going to be a bit better, a bit faster at the skill that they're doing. 
it's like personal training sort of you know what I mean it's a workout so so you got to think of what you've achieved along the way to your goal so what is your plan do you have a mentor do you have someone that gives you feedback and puts you through exercises so you never hit a plateau a plateau if you don't you know where I am rmbsinglessons.com if you just keep comparing yourself to the final goal you're looking at where you are here's the goal where you are here's the goal you need to change your thinking what's the daily action you need to do to get to that goal that goal is a long-term goal that goal is a two three five year goal who knows it depends who you're trying to copy ariana grande ed sheeran craig david chris brown it depends who you're trying to copy it depends on your natural learning ability your natural level that you were given you know at in your genes or whatever and how much time you spend practicing how many lessons you do that kind of stuff so you got to think what is my plan what is my daily action or my regular action that i do that gets me closer to my goal so that i can feel like yes today i'm doing my vibrato in oh today i've got a lesson with rashad and i feel like doing vibrato i feel like getting better at vibrato um and then you do that you know maybe you do vibrato every two weeks in a lesson with me or maybe you practice vibrato you go to like a five minute plan every day you do five minutes of vibrato whatever it is you need a plan that moves you forward in tiny increments because that's the only way you get better you're not going to go from 50 to 100 magically so there's no point in whinging about it so stop whinging if you're whinging take action and your action is i'm going to work on that gradually what's my steps to get to 50 from 100 i'm going to check with rashad what's up what do i got to do in lessons and you got to remember it's going to take some time it's not going to be done in one lesson you gotta go, I'm going to get this vibrato or this run or this phrase or this entire song or wherever, whatever it is you're working on for wherever you're at. I'm going to get that to go from 50 to 100. I'm going to do it. I know people have done it. I've seen Rashad's before and after. I know it's possible. I just need the right kind of assistance and I need to change my mindset to not only be thinking of the long term, but also be thinking of the mini, the mini goals to get to that long term. The regular weekly or monthly steps that i'm making oh look i'm 10 percent faster on my vibrato go celebrate that all right you got to celebrate that you can't just be like i'm 10 percent faster on my vibrato oh but i'm still not at the 100 percent, so i suck you can't think like that that's not going to help you okay i'm rashid hayek i'm hope this helps see you next time bye